Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophonet and welcome to our playthrough of XCOM 2. I'm saying our because of course you might have seen the recruitment video and uh, a, a few of you have added characters to our character pool and you will be appearing in my playthrough. Because uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can add characters, you can still add characters to uh, our XCOM 2 playthrough that can feature as soldiers in this, uh, in this game. So, we're gonna play XCOM 2, we're gonna do it on the Commander difficulty, why not Legend you ask? Legend is the hardest difficulty, but it also forces you to not play the tutorial. And the tutorial contains quite a bit of uh, story elements, so uh, that should be okay to start off with. Um, XCOM, I really like XCOM. It's a really cool strategy game that has a bit more action than you, uh, you, you're maybe used to in strategy games. Uh, I've played a lot of the original XCOM, well not the original XCOM, XCOM uh, Enemy no Unknown and Enemy Within. Uh, played that a buttload. And in regards of my experience with the XCOM 2, I've played it once. I've completed a single playthrough. It's a really cool game which has uh, greatly improved upon its predecessor. It's a lot more deep, it's a lot more uh, customizable. And it's uh, above all more action packed than it was before. It's also a lot harder than the previous one. Than uh, Enemy Unknown or uh, Enemy Within. Enemy Within was the expansion. So, uh, with that said, we're gonna head straight in. Um, we're gonna select a new game. Autosave has been enabled, is fine by me. So we're gonna go with uh, Commander Difficulty. Uh, we are going to enable the tutorial. And we're gonna show subtitles. Can I enable Iron Man? Here we go. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, Operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the Elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. down on his knees but in the meantime charges are set Explosion! Loud and clear. Okay, Gatecrasher. Your turn. So, here we go. Our first mission. These two guys are actually fixed. They don't change in uh, any of the playthroughs, so the tutorial characters are fixed. 
for uh, every game. Before they figure out what we're up to. So don't worry, our characters will be coming in play first. pretty soon. We need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Copy that. Moving up. So uh, I want to emphasize this as well. You can still add your characters. Um, I'm going to be filling up the character pool as long as this is going. So you can still fill in your character's name and uh, color scheme if you want down in the comment section. So don't forget to do that if you haven't already. Uh, so these guys are always the same. And this is the tutorial section, so I'm going to quickly skip through this. The only thing I want to say is that we are... Um, this is a sequel to the to XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. But it's in that game, you could either win or lose against the alien invasion. Uh, this game supposes XCOM lost. So the aliens have invaded our planet and uh, set itself up as a friendly, friendly force. So, here we go. Position, but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing, but see if you can't find a safer position further out. So, if you're familiar with XCOM, this isn't any new. You have half cover where you can put your soldiers in, and you have full cover where the shields are full, giving uh, more protection to that specific soldier. Crasher 2, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher 1. You have two actions in each uh, for each soldier on each turn. One action can be used to move and then the other to shoot or just use two moves to go right next to uh, the other guy in full cover. Double time. There we go. So uh, Ana Ramirez and uh, I missed the other guy's name. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. So, concealment. Concealment is something new in XCOM 2. Which means that for most missions we will start the mission in concealment. Meaning that uh, the enemies are not aware of us and we can just move around as long as we don't end the turn in one of these... Well, stop a soldier in one of these red tiles. I'm gonna put him here as this tutorial suggests. And there we have a commander. You and me both. We're not out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. So the soldiers were surprised by uh, an explosion over there. And now we're going to use Mr. Peter Olsay to uh, try and shoot one of these guys. Here we go. Uh, the yellow icons on the enemies means we have a flank shot on them since they're not in cover. So I'm going to try and take this 68% shot on the second to left soldier. There we go. Three left. And once that happens, all soldiers are revealed immediately. Except for a certain class. So now we have Ana Ramirez, who can uh, take position. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. Okay. Uh, the positions for this uh, tutorial are fixed, so I can't do anything else that, than that they're uh, suggesting to me. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. So 63% chance to that right guy. And there we go, two left. But the problem is now that it's the other guy's turn, it's the enemy's turn. Allowing them to take a shot at us. First guy misses on uh, Peter over here. Not going out there. But the second guy has a, a better shot. He's closer. And he has a flank shot on Ana Ramirez and she is killed. So this is how XCOM works. All of your soldiers can be permanently killed off. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. 
So soldiers can die permanently, meaning they lose every experience point they, uh, every experience they got, every gear they gathered, and uh, well, we don't want that to happen, right? But all of this is uh, kind of scripted. This first mission is pretty scripted, so uh, we're gonna kill this guy. But then, of course, we're still in a bad spot because there's still one left. The yellow icon over there means that a soldier dropped something. And that guy goes down. Not entirely down apparently, but there we have uh She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Yep, like that. Transmission. Hello, Bradford. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard so, cover the left side. Bradford is a central officer from the original, well, the previous game, where he guided us as the commander to, uh, well, to try and take out the alien force. So let's see. We're gonna rotate the camera a bit and try to hide behind this car to set up an ambush for the Fire aliens on. coming in. Again, we don't have a lot of choice, but we do have two extra soldiers. So uh, now we can go into Overwatch. Overwatch means that if uh, we need to move on the package. if an enemy moves in sight of that soldier, that soldier will take an automatic shot, which does not cost a turn, of course, because we're uh, at the turn of the enemy. Uh, let's grab this here. I think we're now pretty free to do what we want. So I'm gonna put... Oh no, we can't. Oh, that's bad. So now I need to... Oh, yeah, okay. It's completely fixed. Never mind. Venice 3, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. There we go. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. So enemies can drop loot, and this one had a scope. Which we can add to one of our weapons uh, to have uh, better aim, of course. So now let's go inside, which is kind of not what I would do, but uh, the game forces me to. So Beatrix is now all alone, right next to the car, defending our position. And now we have a commander and two troopers. Yes, indeed, they did. Now I know we're in the right place. So we still don't know why they're here for spe specifically. Hello. So that's a bit of an intro to uh, when enemies spawn. And the Overwatch shot hits. Weirdly enough, because Overwatch shots suffer from a, a little bit of an aim penalty. Just go. I'll try to stall them here. So Peter takes a, a bold stand. And tries to uh, keep the enemies back. So that's what we're gonna do as well. So let's fire at the uh, officer. I will want to go for this trooper because we could kill the trooper. I don't think it will let me. Yes, there we go. Fire at the officer. So that's what this game is all about. Percentages and... Mostly missing, actually. So now... We can use Jane Kelly to open the door, because this is where our ob objective is. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Yes, indeed they didn't. So let's open the door by hacking it. And this is the hacking interface. We can get one of two effects. 
uh, positive effects, but there's a very low percentage at this point since we don't ha really have a hacking, well, a hacker hacking the door right now. So let's begin the hack. Oh, well, that was actually not bad. There we go. Good. Let's go. So now Bradford can go inside and let's see what we're here for. Because there's someone in there. Yes. Don't really know how you would be sure that this is the right person you were looking for, but hey. If you got me a better look, I might be able to fuck that, Bradford says. And now we have another new feature. In XCOM 2, you can carry unconscious soldiers. So there we go. Let's put him on our back. There we go. And let's get the hell out of here. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac. But it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Indeed we are. And it's the enemy's turn. And there goes uh, poor Peter. Peter is down, so that's why those guys are always fixed. You will lose them no matter what. No! Central! Crasher 1 is down! You have to get out of there! We need okay. another exit! Now! There we go. So let's put Jane Kelly inside of the room here. And let's pop a grenade to uh, blow open the wall over there. There we go. Throw a grenade here. There we go. Throw a frag grenade and let's put it right here. So grenades will be a big part of our arsenal if we want to survive. And now let's use uh, Bradford Central to uh, get outside. Because we're pretty much out of here. We still need to evac everybody out. Well, the two of them out. Both Jane and uh, Bradford. As you can see, he can't move as quickly as you should normally. Because of the guy on his back. Right behind us. But there's a trooper. And he misses her, but there's still the officer to contend with as well. And he comes a bit closer. And he hits Bradford right in the shins. So uh, it's high time we book it out of here. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. And there we go. We can place an evac zone ourselves. So let's do that right over there where the game tells us to. And now if soldiers enter that area, they can be evacuated immediately. You don't need to tell me twice. So let's put Bradford right over here if I would get a marker. Yeah, thank you. We're coming home. And here you are. You might want to hurry, Bradford. And evac. And Jane Kelly actually survives as well. Goodbye. And then we uh, are transported to a room with that lovely thing. And that thing doesn't seem happy about us stealing uh, that guy. So we re return back to base, which seems to be in a canyon of some sorts. And rolling in the guy that we found. Carefully! There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. We 
remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. Just like 20 years ago. So that's the original Bradford. We had no idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. That doesn't sound good. Ow. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. So whoever this is... He or she got abducted by the aliens at the end of the last game. And you might already... Uh, know who we're talking about here. Humans and aliens apparently made peace. But that's of course all a charade, and that's an elder, by the way. Pupillary response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Commander. Because we are, in fact, the commander from the previous game. The guy that we played as in the previous game. So the same commander. So you're finally coming out of it. Back from the dead. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise... I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. So Dr. Tigan was a... Uh... damn good to have you back. And it's good to be back. Commander. So Dr. Tigan is the guy that operated on us. And there we go. This is the commander's quarters. We could, if we want to, Commander's catch up on what happened. Labs. But the commander is expected at the research lab. So let's go there first. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab. Such as it is. So he replaces I'm Dr. Valen from the previous it, game. But we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Farewell, Tigan. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. So we can't really choose now, we have to go with Alien Biotech. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. But normally we have a... Keep busy okay. For a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. So, uh, normally in the lab we will be able to choose whatever Commander, research we want to armory. perform first. Uh, just in case we want to prioritize one or the other. So let's go to the armory and meet up with another member of the uh, team. 
Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. So this is how your uh, characters will also be promoted. So we're gonna promote Jane Kelly since she did so fine. So let's promote her, and she I think the she ranger always becomes a ranger. Primary reconnaissance unit. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. So, uh, concealment, shotguns, and swords are most likely the words you would be using to describing a ranger, so a covert operative, most likely. We're there we go, we got Slash. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. So, Slash allows us to get close to uh, an enemy and slash him in the Commander face. To the bridge. Okay, and now we're needed at the bridge. There we go. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander. Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. And that we will. So here we have our first soldiers. So on the left we have, let's check him out really quickly. Can I actually check him out? I can't edit him. So we have uh, Mr. Buffon and he is called the technician. There we go. Uh, I think that's the character my nephew made. Then we have, uh, of course, Jane Kelly, the ranger. Then we have another member you might have seen if we, if you watched any of the game night streams that we recently do uh, each week, is uh, Terulia, is uh, Cedric's character. And then we have, of course, if you uh, checked out my channel, I have a big, uh, big affection towards the Witcher series. And we have uh, Geralt, Geralt of Rivia, the Butcher. So uh, that's our team that we're going to use for the next mission. But that's going to be for next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this little introductory episode. Don't forget, if you haven't already uh, submitted your character, you still can do so. And you can be added to the roster such as these guys are. So thanks again, Enormcy, for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again, Enormcy, for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.